Hello, I'm Jack, and today I'm going to be reviewing this robotic lizard. This thumbs up, build your own robotic lizard. Um, it says here, build your own lizard. Fun and easy to assemble. The robot lizard has illuminating LED lights. No, sorry, LED eyes, and has infrared infrared sensor. Has an infrared sensor which allows to act, shock, scurry away, and follow you. So it's powered by batteries. So uh, we'll have to find those in a minute. But right now I'm just going to unbox this to see what it's like. So I do need scissors or a knife, but scissors I've got right now. God, I'm using the knife next time. Alright, those scissors, scissors are bunned. Alright, so, it literally just opens up, so that's cool. So, you have to make this thing, by the way. So, you've got all the parts here. It's going to be interesting. It says on there, like, there's a fun building challenge on there. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's fun and not a pain. <laughs> uh, there's some secondary areas here, so it's like the top of the thing, and... There's a couple of that's close and he dropped it. Little bits as well there. Here are stickers and cogs and screws and wires. Um it's looking fun, isn't it? There's a bunch of tools it says you need to use. What's this? Oh, there's a circuit board with something else. Just another wire. Um something to do with that, probably LED lights or something. And of course, obviously. Another thumbs up sticker. More prizes to win. And we've got a manual. I'm going to be looking at this very, very closely this time. Normally I don't need to use the manual, but today I'm going to need it. Because it says in there that there's a detailed manual and how to do it. And it shows there is. But uh, what I'm going to do is, it's, go it's going to take me a while to build it. And it says fun, easy building challenge. I'm just there like, no, it's not going to be easy. I better, I better check though. Because I don't want to say that I'd be wrong. It says here, uh, at the top, I think it is, it says, okay, fun building challenge. So it doesn't say it's easy at all. Um, oh no, it says, tools may require to assemble. Yeah. So, yeah, they didn't say it's going to be hard, uh, easy, but it's going to be a challenge. And it says it's going to be fun. I hope it's fun. Um, so I'm going to start building this now. It's on the first page. And uh, look at all this. Tools required and stuff. It's a cool idea actually, because um, you can, there's these stickers, these, I think they're adhensive, is that how you pronounce it? Adhensive tapes, that's the one. And uh, you put them on these things, and then you take the this bit off, and then you can cling it onto this frill here that's gonna be part of the lizard. So that, by the way, was take ages to cut out with a knife. It's ridiculous, <laughs> but it's fun. Okay, the head is done. This comes out when it's activated. I don't know how that's activated yet, but that comes out and it shakes and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Head's done, moving on to the body now. It's all starting to come together now. And I'd just like to say how impressed I am with how well this product is fall out. The, uh, there's little things here, down here, that connect to the product, the, you know, the base. And they keep the wires tidy for you. And that could be so bad if that wasn't there. Otherwise, it'd be just fine, uh, going around everywhere. Um, and it's well connected. I've got my lights on. I mean, I haven't got them on yet, but uh, we'll have them on soon. The tail's pretty cool. Uh, arms, I need to said hands, but like, the legs move really well, which I'll sort out when I plug it all in. I want it to stick as well. So, we're going to put it into uh, Bluff. Uh, not Bluff, Escape. So, that's setting one. There we go, Bluff, it bluffs. And then it kind of runs off. It's going towards me instead. Okay, see, it bluffs because it sees me and it runs off. And it's... <laughs> yes! It escapes and goes straight into my massive nurse over there. It, it runs off from that and then it goes towards that and it sees that. Panics, runs backwards. It's scared of everything in sight. It's scared of my chair. It bluffs my chair. It's running to my Nerf gun again, and uh, it continues. So now we're going to put the follow me setting on. This is actually incredible. Stop, lizard thing. Stop. All right. All right, now follow me. This is going to be sick. All right. So here we are. Oh. OK. So surely it will go to me now. Right? Hello, I'm here. So you follow me now, right? I don't know how I get it to follow me. So if I stand here, whoa, there we go, and it follows me. So if I stop, it stops too. For some reason it's like 
showing it's whatever it's called. And then if I kick it, and then if I move away like this, around here, it should turn around and follow me, unless it thinks my laptop bag is me. Which case, that is actually a flaw with this. Um, it doesn't know it's you. So if I put it here, and I move all the way over here, it should keep going to me, and then it should stop, or it's just going to carry on to my nerf gun. Or it's just going to run on the spot. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's um, try that again. Oh, oh god. Stop, 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 stop. And go back. Oh, it's going. It loves me. The lizard loves me. Aww. Very sweet. Yeah, this is my pet lizard. Uh, settle down, bro. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down, bro. What's well, so if I put it on the. Uh, will, it, will it bluff me? Will it bluff me? Your eyes just got... His eyes go red, it's so cool. Watch how scary this is. Alright, if I put it on setting one, alright, his eyes go green, right, like this. It stops, realises you're an enemy. Oh, you're done now! And then it escapes from you because it's only bluffing. But, uh, yeah, I love this product so much. I actually, this is the best review I've done yet, in my opinion. This is my favourite. This is really cool. I love how it works. Um, yeah, with the infrared, obviously it works with anything. So, if it's on the follow me mode, it will literally... It might think my chair's me, therefore uh, it won't follow me. It'll follow the chair, which is obviously never going to move unless I move it itself. So, um, I suppose what you could do is, if it wouldn't follow you and it wanted to follow something else like your chair, you could move your chair and see if it follows the chair. But to be honest with you, because it's got infrared, there's not really much I can do about that. Um, but it is cool. Like, if you're, like, outside, it will probably follow you. And that's, I love how that works. And it's interesting to know that it stops as well, uh, even though it did climb up to my foot one time. Um, but, yeah, it's really, really fun to make. It isn't easy, I'll be honest. It isn't easy, but it is fun because it's not easy. Uh, tell you what the most annoying part is. Cutting this out oh, with a knife, it's so hard. And it's, I didn't do it very well, but it's pretty good. And you get two of those. The, you get two of these. So um, if you mess it up, don't worry. You've got another one. And uh, there's some also there's some other stickers as well that you get uh, two of. Uh, but yeah, that is the robotic lizard. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. Uh, I'll put on screen right now how much it is going for Handy Ideas. But if you're going to buy it, get it from Handy Ideas. Um, and uh, I'm Jack, and I'll see you for another review. All right, can you follow me out, please? Follow the camera. Oh god! <laughs>